Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the course High Performance Computer Architecture, which I took as part of Georgia Tech's OMSCS program. I took this class back in the fall 2023 semester, along with another class, Global Entrepreneurship, which I'll be reviewing next week. I had actually taken a computer architecture class previously at a community college in preparation for OMSCS. I learned about some very basic computer architecture concepts like registers and memory, and we also learned a bit about writing assembly, but that was essentially the extent of the class. This course is broken up into lectures and projects. The lectures cover a wide range of concepts in computer architecture, including metrics for evaluating different architectures, techniques for improving performance, including pipelining, branch predictors, predication, instruction scheduling, and parallelism, various data structures and algorithms related to modern processors, including instruction queues, the broadcast bus, registers, reservation stations, the registration alias table, reorder buffers, and Thomas Sula's algorithm. You also learn about loop unrolling, VLIW, virtual memory, caches and cache coherence, different types of storage, including fault tolerance, and even multi-processor and multi-core architectures. There were four projects which tied very well into the lecture material, and they all involved using the open source processor simulator called SCSC, which is written in C++. In project zero, we set up our development environment, we played around with a few parameters to see how they affected branch predictor performance, and we cross-compiled a simple C program to learn a little bit about how the C compiler works. In project one, we used the simulator in order to analyze different branch predictors. In project two, we used the simulator to analyze how different cache parameters and strategies affect performance. In project three, we simulated a multi-core processor and saw how to model cache coherence. These projects were a mixture of calculating performance, modifying processor configuration, free response questions, as well as modifying some C++ functions in the simulator. As for pros of the class, the first big one is that the lectures are great. They're great in terms of both the breadth of material that they cover, as well as the depth of each topic. These lectures really feel like they come from a graduate level course. In fact, I would say that these were the best lectures of any class that I took in OMSCS. The professor makes weekly announcements in this course, and the head TA is very involved in the forums with helping students. There was a midterm and a final. Overall, I think that these exams were definitely difficult, but they were fair. There's just a lot of lecture material to cover, and the exams also focus on problem solving as opposed to trivia. And overall, the format of the exams was very similar to graduate introduction to operating systems. Although I think these exams were definitely harder than the exams in that course. I also really liked that the projects tie so well into the lecture material. As for cons, I mentioned that the lectures are very, very good. Um, but they can definitely be a bit dense and dry at times. But overall, I think that they're very engaging for how dry this material can be. A small nitpick is that the projects are submitted as a Word document, and occasionally there were some weird formatting issues, which I think could have been avoided if we had used a combination of grade scope for auto grading, as well as plain text for the free response questions. The projects could also be a little bit tedious at times when it came to changing different configuration parameters, but overall, I think that they did a great job of reinforcing the lecture material. Overall, I could recommend this class to basically anyone unless you've taken a very, very similar class in the past. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I had taken a computer architecture class at a community college, and this class definitely felt like a level up from that material. This course goes very in depth and overall is just very well executed. Computer architecture is also such a fundamental aspect of computer science that I really think it could benefit anyone. This class is definitely on the more difficult side, so I definitely wouldn't pair it with another difficult class, but like I mentioned, I paired it with an easier class while working full time, and I still found the course manageable. Overall, I found this class very, very rewarding, and I did very well in the course, which felt like a bit of redemption after getting pretty burnt out from graduate intro to operating systems. 
And this class is so similar to graduate intro to operating systems in terms of both the content and the execution that I wanted to take a moment at the end of this video just to do a quick comparison with that course. A lot of the concepts that are covered in this course are closely related to the operating systems course, just one level of abstraction lower. This makes this class a great class to take if you're also planning on taking intro to operating systems. And from my experience, I would recommend actually taking this class first. There were many concepts that I learned in intro to operating systems that made a lot more sense once I learned them in this class. And I think it's because this class is one layer of abstraction lower than operating systems. This gave the feeling that you were more so learning about what was going on under the hood. Another reason I think that this class would be good to take before operating systems, especially if you're coming from a non-CS background like myself, is that while this class is on par with operating systems in terms of difficulty, in this class the lecture portion is much more difficult than the project portion, which is the exact opposite of how it is in intro to operating systems. This makes the class more approachable because there's less presumed knowledge going into the class. You don't need to know a whole bunch of C++ in order to do well on the projects. In comparison to intro to operating systems, where if you didn't know C going into the class, it made the projects much more difficult. Pretty much everything you need to do well in high performance computer architecture is provided by the course material, which is definitely not the case in intro to operating systems. In this class, it's much more useful to be familiar with reading large code bases as compared to graduate intro to operating systems where you're writing much more code than you read. Overall, I felt that I had about the same amount of learning as I did in graduate intro to operating systems, but in high performance computer architecture, I felt like I got that learning with less time invested. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I took this class along with global entrepreneurship which I will be reviewing in my next video. So I'll see you then.